everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to put the end results of my dehydrating in this video, and you're going to see the bluebirds. I don't know how many more times we'll be able to see the bluebirds because they're pretty feathered out. We're going to put that video in right here. I took the cover off. I'm going to take it off again. I took the cover off, and this is the apples. This is what they look like. They're crunchy. They're hard sounding, but I think they need to cool. But look at how little they got. And I would suggest if you're going to do them to take the skin off. They're, they're tasty and they're chewy. The skin, you notice it there, even though it this these apples were really old apples, so I didn't bother to peel them. And the oranges, they're doing, they're, they're good. They're crunchy. They got a little bit of crunchiness to them. These are tasty. Now, how long did I do all this? Well, way longer than it probably would like to do it. But I did it from, let's see, it went from 4.30 to 9, last night 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30. So it went four and a half hours yesterday, and it went about six hours today. So about 10 and a half hours this took. If you want to go less time, you'd have to make these thinner to start with. And I'd suggest peeling them, but they're, they're really pretty tasty. I did taste them. So this is how I dehydrated old apples and old oranges. Well, I'm going to check the bluebirds. I haven't, I don't see any of them flying around. Let me see. Is anybody inside? Nobody's inside. Let's check if the babies are still here. Oh, they are. There's the babies. Looking really pretty. Wow, you guys are really snuggled in there tight. You're all sleeping still. Must be I choose times when you're sleeping. I have to tell you, the fruit that I dehydrated, it was really tasty. And my daughter, I brought it to my daughter and um, she tried the apple and the orange and she thought it was really, really good. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got hoarseness. Mm. I haven't been talking. <clears throat> As they say, excuse me. <laughs> mm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, when you don't talk for a while, you you frog up. I remember when we were on it, this brought a, a thought. I guess I have got something to say. When we were on our one motorcycle trip and we were riding from Florida and it was extremely warm and thank goodness we had our helmets on because the black flies and the little gnats were just horrible they were all over the place but because the helmet had it's a full face helmet and you didn't notice the the bugs couldn't get to you because you had the helmet on but um we were riding for a long time and I had no idea where we were, and I don't know if Jim knew where we were in Georgia at the time, but we stopped at this store, and I wanted to know where we were. And I went to talk to this lady that was coming out of the store, and I found that I had no voice. And it's because I had been riding for a long time and not talking at all, and it was like, oh my goodness, the heat had drained my vo voice right out of me, and my vocal cords were not vibrating to make any sound. It was a very strange, and it was like I couldn't, could not produce a loud sound. And I'm a pretty good loud talker, <laughs> usually. Yeah. In fact, when I get excited, I will talk really loud. But um, today was a busy day. I went over to the ki visit with the kids again and take care of a little business over there. And I rearranged my daughter's refrigerator. So she's going to have to search for things now. I did make... I did a, a row on top. The top row was for the kids and their lunches. The um, next one was, um, I think it was bottles, all bottles. Then I had a bread and egg section, and then I had a odds and ends kind of thing at the bottom. And she's got a side-by-side. -side. Those side-by-side -side refrigerators, I don't feel, have a lot of room at all. And her freezer is so packed that it's, it's impossible. And her drawers in the refrigerator, she's packed. I says, you need to stop buying food and just start using everything that you have because 
her refrigerator is really overloaded. She used to have two refrigerators and the one died. And so now everything is in the one and it makes it really crowded. Well, I don't have anything more to tell you today. I'm actually feeling a little bit sleepy tonight, but I will get my second wind about 9 o'clock when I'm supposed to go to bed. But I usually get a little drowsy right around now. Now would be if I was a if I was a younger child at 7.30, we used to go to bed. So I'd be going to bed in a half an hour. <laughs> but I'm not going to be going to bed. I'll be putting this video out and then I will finish if there's any more comments that I haven't responded to because I always check those. And I finish those and then I post the video so that I always start with a fresh clean slate. And sometimes before I go to bed, I'll check again to see if anybody else commented, and I try to answer those two so that in the morning I have less to to do. Because, you know, it's it's this I consider it like I go to work every day. But my job, it's kind of broken up. I work in the morning, then I have a big lull in the afternoon, and then I work again at night. And, so, and, I'm, and I'm not a night person. I'm more of a daytime person. Well, that is it. So enjoy your evening or your morning, whatever you're doing, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye-bye.